Hey guys, welcome to another Home Lab series video today. In today's video, we'll be showing you how to install Watch It Land, which is a GitHub uh, self hosted project that I found and it was featured on the most recent self hosted page um, in regards to um, just a network scanner that has a web GUI interface that'll kind of show you what do you have what's connected in your network and you know you can kind of help figure out hey are all those things something you're expecting or do you have some weird traffic coming in your network um, hopefully everything's what you're expecting you don't have your neighbors leeching off of your network <laughs> um, but yeah we'll show you how to set that up and have some fun so this video is also sponsored by me myself and I so if you enjoy my content want to sponsor me or send me some free swag let me know my emails in the description below so let's get started guys All right, so first thing that we want to do here is log in to our server. So we at 172.116.1.57. All right, here we go. And then we will install a Docker. Um, they have a Docker repository here for this. So we're going to add the Docker repo. So add repo HTTPS download docker.com slash Linux slash, slash CentOS and then docker ce dot repo so that'll add it and then we can do a yum y install docker ce and it will install docker on our machine well we let that happen um we will go to our gitlab go to our dns project so that we can update our dns and um you know let dns work essentially on our local network here um so we'll go here we'll update our zone file and update the serial and then add the record, watch your LAN. In, make an A record, Oop, just A, and add 157. So then we'll commit that, and then as this gets committed, it will run the pipeline to deploy this file out to our DNS server and then run the DNS update so that it applies. Um, and then what we'll go is watch, watch your LAN, GitHub. So we can, go take a look at their github here real quick so you, you get a little you know lightweight network ip scanner with a web gui um so we'll essentially go with a quick start here right um easy quick start there's other configs you can do but we'll just do the simple quick start to kind of give you a gist of what it has so since docker is now installed we'll enable docker and we'll start docker then we'll create a file and we'll cut like start watch your land.sh bin bash to kind of make it easy for you guys can see updates so we'll run run it and um, we'll do a d so it just runs in the background your interface um and in this case it's just your interface name so ens 192 is my interface and i'll show you how you can find that too if you don't know my time zone is america chicago um, and then we leave that as default and then docker path we'll just actually just do the current existing directory so to figure out your interface you could do like ip addr um, and you can see that on this in this case my interface is ens 192 because i have it linked to this is the ip that i have set for my machine um, you might get an interface for lo that's just your local you don't have to worry about that and then you'll have a docker interface but you have docker installed so ideally you'll only have these three and whatever this one is, this is the one that you would pick. So now that we have that, we will uh, chmod start watch a LAN and we will start it up. So while that pulls, um, essentially we should be able to go to the web GUI on HTTP and not localhost because we're not actually running this. Uh, we're running this on a separate machine, not the same machine. So we would use the DNS record and then 8840 is going to be our address. So what we'll go to is, this watch your land dot dragon dot local 8840 um and so you can see now it actually scanned my network and essentially it shows everything that it scanned and is online so you can see everything's in my 172.16.1 network um and that's what I expect, essentially. Nothing weird. Um, all these are virtual machines, so that's why it says VMware here. Um, if they were like physical hardware, it might give you, a, it, it would give you a different thing. Like if you had like a Dell computer, it would like say Dell, right? Um, so, but from here, you can actually do some cool things. So like you can actually, in the log, name like this firewall. And essentially now you've set it so that this says, this is a firewall record. So the name of this is firewall. So you can actually, label each each ip in here 
for something that is known compared to something that isn't known and then essentially track down, hey, what's what was this coming from, right? Um, so it's a little bit easy to kind of just give a quick glimpse of your network um, and see um, there's online, offline, you can see things, uh, the history of when things were last seen, um, you got a config on where you want to store everything, um, as well as authentication, um, where you can enable authentication and other things so that you would have to log in so that you know, someone doesn't just go to this URL on your home network and go, what's this? Um, so, but it's a little neat tool to kind of just scan your network, see what you have, and you can kind of stop building out what you have and see what you don't know. So if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.